Hello everyone, this is as usual David from China. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna do a really, really cool project. So firstly, let's see the overview of today's project. So I didn't pay at I didn't pay too much attention to the design, but its function is really cool. As you can see, it says enter your name and find out your exam results. So if I enter, for example, my name, David, it will give me my results from three subjects. So if I enter another name, for example, I put Sean, it is my friend's name. So if I click the button, it will give another different scores. It will be the Sean scores. And also, for example, if I enter another name, for example, Bella, she's a girl. So as you can see here, different results for different students, different input. And also one more important thing you have to notice that, for example, if I type the David with capital letter, lowercase, capital, lowercase, capital like this, it will still show me the result. So, and also, for example, if I enter any name like this, it will just say there is no information about this student. So if you are making your own website or the website for your university, school or anything, you have to include this part to your website and that's going to be really cool. So let's get started. I will go to my Sublime Text and create three new files. So the first one will be index.html for my HTML and the second one will be index.css for my CSS. So the third one will be index.js for JavaScript. So in my HTML, I will write the, let's say, main tags and the title will be check the result. So after that, I will link my CSS and JavaScript to my HTML. So index.css and one more script and the source will be index.js for my javascript so inside the body i want to create two divs so the first one will have the id of let's say main because this is going to be my main div and the second one should have the id of let's say inputs because i want to take inputs and give the output something like this and the align should be center so everything inside this div will be aligned to the center. So after that, inside my div, I want to have, let's say, input. So firstly, let's have the H2 because it should say, enter your results, enter your name, something like this. Enter your name and find out your exam results. So after that, I want to have input and the type should be, let's say, text because it should take the name of the student. After that, I will give the ID of student name because we will use this ID in our JavaScript function also. And also placeholder should also be a student name with the space between two words. And then after that, I want to have one more line break because I want to have one more input. If I do not put this line break, these two inputs will be next to each other. So it is not good because input is in line element. So after that, the second input should have the type of button. And also when the user clicks the button, so it says on click, it should go to my JavaScript and run the function with the name of result. So after that, the value should be check, let's say check your result. So the last thing is I want to have the paragraph with the ID of let's say output because I want to give the results inside this paragraph. So I will just give the ID of output. So that's it for our HTML. So Let's check how it looks now. I will go to my desktop and open the file with the name of index.html. So here it is for now. So let's make it more beautiful using CSS. So I will just go to my index.css. 
So firstly, the element with the ID of main, that's my main div, should have the height of let's say 100% and also the width of 100%. And also it should have the background image of let's say linear gradient linear gradient it should be RGBA so I want to have 0 0 0 and 0 0.4 opacity and after that one more RGBA it should be 0 let's say 0 0 0 0.4 opacity one more and now I want to give the URL of the image so it will be URL and it will be image.jpg so after that I want to have the background position background position should be center and the background size should be cover and the position of my div should be absolute so let's see how it looks now so I will just reload the page as you can see here it is it is more beautiful than it was so now I want to design the element with the ID of inputs that is my second div so it should have the width of let's say 25 rem and the height of let's say 28 rem and let's make it 24 maybe so after that it should have the box shadow of 10 pixels 10 pixels 15 pixels and the color of coral so after that the, its position should be relative to the main div and also it should be it should have the margin of let's say 6% and also auto so after that it should have the border radius of let's say 1 rem 1 ram and also it should have the font weight of boulder and then my background color should be let's say 10475f and also it should have the padding of let's say 5 8 pixels so after that it should have the color of white because the text color should be white and the text align to be center so let's see here it is so the only thing left is to design these inputs also so I will just go to my index.css so let me do like this so the input element should have the let's say font weight of boulder and it should have the background color of let's say it is 0, 0, 0, 0 and the opacity of 0, 8 and then after that it should have the color of white because the text color should be white and the we don't need border so the border should be none so after that I want to have the margin of let's say 10 pixels from all sides so after that I want to have the padding of 10 pixels and it should have the box shadow of let's say 4 pixels, 4 pixels, 10 pixels and the color of white so after that I want to have the border radius of let's say 9 pixels so here it is so let me check the color I guess we forgot something yeah here it should be RGBA so now here it is so I want to give the margin to my paragraph also so I will just say margin should margin top should be let's say 15 pixels so for now we cannot see, see the paragraph but if we put something inside we can see so the last thing left is to go to my javascript and run write the function with the name of result 
so because when the user clicks the button it will go to my javascript and search for the function with the name of result and run it so i will just say function in my javascript and it should have the name of result and for now let's see whether it's working or not so we'll say document dot write so soon we will be done so now So let's see whether it's working or not. So if I click the button, here it is, it is working. So now I can go on. So just erase this one. So firstly, I want to declare variable with the name of students. So it will be object. So I will just say object. So the object should have its child elements also. So first one should be David. So here I want to create one more object and so the math score of David let's say 95 so the comma and the physics score should be physics score of David should be let's say 80 and also the literature literature score of David should be let's say 75 so now I will just put the comma and comma and copy this one and I will just paste it let's say two more times because I want to have the results of three students so the second one will be Sean and the third one will be Bella so after that I will just go to go down and here inside the function here so inside the function I want to declare one more variable with the name of let's say student name so it will be document dot get element by ID let's say student name it is our input and we want to take its value so after that I want to have one more variable with the name of input and it should be student name dot to uppercase so uppercase so the reason why I am doing this one as you can see my objects the names are all in uppercase so no matter how the user inputs the name for example like this like this any way it will just my javascript will just make it convert it to the uppercase so and then it will be easy to find the name so after that i will just create one more variable with the name of let's say definition definition so it should be let's say students it is my object students and input So the input is the name that the user gives us and then it will my javascript where definition is equal to students this object and input. So when the name is let's say this name is David it will just take this part of object this child element of object. So after that let's say war output so it is time to get to give the output so firstly we should we will define the output so where output should be document dot get element by id with the id of output so it is our paragraph so firstly we should have if else statement so if definition is equal to undefined so if you don't have data about the input that the user gives us so output dot inner HTML HTML should be equal to let's say so it should be I want to use this backslash and it should first HR and it should say there is no information about this student so I want to just 
full stop and then I want to have one more HR so let's check whether it's working or not so now I will just go to my index.html and let's write something and check the result it says there is no output about this student for now it is working so let's just write else statement so if definition is not equal to undefined so I will just say output dot inner HTML should be equal to backslash so firstly HR so it should say mass score is so I will just say definition dot mass so definition is let's say child element of this object so let's say it is David so firstly it will take David dot mass so it will just give the output of 95 if it is let's say Bella so here I forgot to change the numbers so let's say Sean has the result of 70 and the physics result of 100 and the literature of 86 so the Bella let's say she's a girl so let's respect her so all of them are 100 so as you can see for example if the input is Bella it will just take Bella dot mass it is equal to 100 so mass score is 100 it will be this kind of input so after that I want to have the full stop and then HR one more so after that it should have the physics score score is let's say so it should be definition dot physics so after that I want to have the HR so now the last thing left is literature score so I will say literature literature score is so I will just definition dot definition dot let's say literature so after that the last thing left is having one more line break uh, HR horizontal line so I guess that's it for our let's say JavaScript also so now we will check whether it's working or not so I just reload the page so firstly I will enter the name David with different letters so there is no information about this student so let's see here HR HR definition dot mass here to uppercase if else everything is done right so one more time did I save it actually so David here it is it is working so now I can just say Bella it will give me the result of Bella I can also type in capital letters or lowercase letters it doesn't matter at all so I can just type anything else it will say there is no information about this student so that's it for today's project so you can also change the design for yourself anything you want you can do and also you can add some more functions maybe so I hope you like the video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video so if you if you have some friends who are learning programming also you can just recommend them my channel so I, I, I will try to upload more and more projects like this so see you guys in the next project